Hi, I'm Don, and today we're going to do decorating bags using shaving cream and textile colors. You can use whatever textile plate paint you want, but make sure it's flat, not the puffy textile paint. Make sure you stir it. You can take a little dab of your textile paint, put it on the end of a, a stick or the end of your brush, and put it in the shaving cream. Don't use big amounts. You don't need big amounts of it, okay? Once you have enough colors, then you want to take your colors and just slowly swirl them. Okay? Now, you can swirl through all the colors at one time, but I try not to make weird colors. And if you start swirling and get all happy, um, you can end up with some colors that you may not really like. So I try and use just the blues with the blues and reds with reds, yellow with yellows. And the greens with the greens. That way, all your colors are, are fairly consistent. All right. So I've got my colors all swirled together. You can see my colors are all swirled. So you need to have a stencil on your bag. And one of my coworkers has a Cricut, and she cut out a stencil for me. You can also cut out a stencil by hand. Um, there are several other machines you can use as well. Uh, you can also buy stencils. So however you want to get your stencil, it's totally up to you. So, But you have a stencil for the design you want to use. And uh, then you need to get painting. And we're going to use an old card. And you simply take some color. And you just push it down. Pick it up and push it down. Pick it up and push it down. Okay. Pick it up. Push the color in. Now you want to be aware that you, when you're pushing this color down, that you push from the outside of the stencil in. Then want to push it up against the stencil because then you can lift the stencil and you'll get some uh, leakage under your stencil. You really don't want that if you can avoid it. Okay. So, we got some grass here. So let's put some grass on there. Okay. All right. And this has some falling leaves, so there's a nice color there. Oops. Okay. And you just keep on going. Little blends of color, you know, add a little more green, a tad yellow, maybe a little branch up here toward the top, and some more branches. You know, wherever you want to put your color, you just go ahead and just lay it on. And the last color you put on is going to be the most predominant color. Okay?
All right. So there's our tree. Well, you know, I might have a area right there. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so you add your colors on there, and you look at your stencil and you make sure that you have everything covered. You don't want any bare spots. So go over everything, make sure all looks good. If you change colors, you know, add your colors carefully, judiciously. All right. Now you can also add sparkle to your paints. Um, they sell these Perlex powdered pigments. And you can take the Perlex and just grab a little bit of the Perlex and go over and just swipe it in there. You put your shimmer on there. You want a little bit of red. And some red shimmer. Okay. You get a little extra glimmer to it. So, you know, kind of spiffs it up. You, know, you want your tree to have a little more accent of brown. You can get some of the brown shimmer, pick it up, kind of brush it in. All righty. And you can sparkle it. Green. Enhance your green a little. But that's pretty much how it works. So once you have your painting all done, you've got everything covered, you're going to let it sit for 24 hours, let it dry. Then all the shaving cream will just brush off and you will have a stenciled bag. So over here, I have a finished product. So here's what one looks like once you brushed everything off. But I hope you enjoyed this program and you learned something. So keep your eyes out. We're going to be doing more. So thanks for coming by. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Take care.